Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are the first day of the month of November, Wednesday, November the 1st, 2017. And today in our Tech News Update, well, the uh, Apple Watch 3 seems to have some issues. A lot of problems reported with different devices of the new um, generations, you know, of iPhones and new iOS version and everything. We're kind of wondering a little bit about the quality control in Apple. Now, people are reporting that the sides of the, the watch actually have bars that uh, actually appear and uh, the display has kind of problems there around the edges. So Apple says they have a fix for it, but uh, that is uh, not good news for Apple products, especially for the price that you pay for them. Well, there's, uh, of course, the consumer report that makes Microsoft unhappy that it's stated that, well, you know what? Um, the um, basically um, problems of this device were showing up as 25% according to consumer report. Well, um, as the new, of course, Surface Pro LTE is actually being launched in December, um, I, I think Microsoft wanted to just put things straight and say, um, look, in the latest devices, we have our stats, and our stats are showing that in a 100,000 devices sold, less than one has an issue, which is a very, very small percentage of problems. So, um, of course, Microsoft tries to hit back because of that consumer report that still refuses to accept Surface as good devices. Kodi is, of course, trying to get back into a clean, nice multimedia interface. And basically, um, now a new, um, actually a new rule, or basically new rules that are happening are really heating up the debate here because it seems that um, in many countries, and Kodi will actually help with this, anyone that does a add-on that lets users stream free copyrighted movies or you know pirated movies, basically, will face legal action, even if they don't host the movies themselves. They say that the add-ons are the problem, not Kodi, and that we need to do something about it. So if you're the creator of one of these add-ons, maybe you should uh, rethink your strategy now. A research is raising serious questions about Internet of Thing devices. They say that security on these devices is inexistent in most cases. Uh, easy to find passwords and usernames. And also, um, a lot of devices with security flaws that will never get updates means danger is ahead as IoT botnets are growing fast. One of them, the most scary of all, basically, is growing at a rate of 10,000 new devices a day and it all has to do with no standard, no updates and a lot of problems with these devices. And the research says, you know what, we should actually uh, make the companies accountable for problems of the future if they don't fix these security holes. In other news, Intel's new Optane SSDs are just so blazingly fast that Intel says they can actually be used as extra RAM on a PC if needed. And of course, they are working on a motherboard that would actually not just use your Intel SSD as a storage device, but if you want, can use part of it as RAM. So if it's as fast as regular RAM, maybe we'll have RAM SSDs instead of you know regular RAM that we have right now. And of course, one of the interesting things about the RAM on SSD is the fact that it doesn't erase itself. So that opens the door to also all sorts of new applications within PCs. Well, Google has an internal bug list or a security hole list of all sorts of things, including its own products. Well, a security researcher found a flaw in that internal bug list, which meant he was able to, by exploiting this vulnerability, um, see the list. Now, Google has fixed the flaw because he told them, but he wonders, did anyone else have access to this list? It might be a big problem because one of the problems with that is if bad guys know what products have security flaws, well, they can exploit them right away. Well, Russia 
is regulating the use of VPN services. It's not banning VPNs, but it's actually requiring VPNs to block websites that the Russian government and the Russian watchdog of uh, internet services doesn't want you to see. So it's kind of basically censorship. So any VPN service that will not comply will be banned from use in Russia. And uh, this is another step where we see slowly our internet free speech going away. And uh, last but not least, a uh, security researcher, not a security researcher, a tech uh, researcher, is saying that there's a lot of talk about AR, VR, augmented or uh, virtual reality or mixed reality. But in fact, very little people and very little is done. And he's wondering, is AR, VR the uh, next 3D, basically? Meaning it just won't go through and it's already dead. So this is what he's asking himself. Has um, lots of talk, but nothing happening. And so this was the Tech News Update for Wednesday, November the 1st, 2017. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And if you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe, give us thumbs up. And I want to thank you so much for following us on this channel.